Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of City Skylines, a modded series. This is a river run map and we're playing in another city city. Welcome to episode this is 75. So in the previous episode we mentioned we were going to add a small residential area here. I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. We're gonna put one right next to where our archery industry is. which we erected because we wanted to find a way to get our specialized good, all the, all the resource stuff, because we didn't have enough resources that it needed. But right now we're, we're good on that front. So here we are. You saw me delete the oil, uh, oil extractors because the oil is, is, there's a bald spot there. It completely drained the oil in that area. I was trying to think of why uh, those little icons were on there and then I clicked it. And I noticed the resource was gone. So that, that's the thing that happens with oil. It's not, it's a uh, finite resource. It's not unlimited. Doing some more zoning of this nice waterfront property overlooking the area. And it goes up. There's no way for the people who are facing the other way to get on that pathway unless they cross the street into that busy highway. I, I just noticed that. Anyway, in addition to free schooling here, or free, not free schooling, free lunch, we also have free health care, which I, I hope the citizens of, or the alumni of Boeing University would enjoy adding to the, the uh, demand for economy, not economy, the <laughs> demand for the at business tile. I forget what it's called. Is it business? Residential commercial. My bad. I'm starting to forget things. So here we are. We're expanding our area. We're gonna have some houses here after we look at what uh, what's needed. I'm gonna do an overpass here to connect the other part of the industry. So that area has a train station, a cargo rail station, which would be nice for this industry. We're gonna have trucks uh, cross over the highway here. We need a but like an uh, entrance into the highway would be beneficial. See how to go about doing that. If you put a underpass here as we did in the previous uh, part of the town. Yeah. Uh, we might need a uh, a way to enter the highway now that there's space here but i'd be okay to leave it like this to be honest uh here i'm plotting the pathways for people to walk around these pathways so essentially if you keep it on one side of the road it uh, lowers the path they need to, to turn on the road but it's still uh They still do need to go on, on the other side in order to get to the pathway. That's why these overpasses are, are needed, all right? Right here, I decided to put some houses here. 
you know, the, these industry types, uh, the tree with the trees, the forestry industry doesn't have pollution. The only thing uh, that might be a concern is the noise pollution from the highway. So that's pretty nice. It's a nice uh, little area for people who are, are working. I'm not going to put a uh, high density. because it's gonna cause a lot of traffic at this point. You don't need that uh, that much hustle and bustle in the city good at this slow-paced movement or growth. I will eventually uh, have more high-rise areas, but kind of like these small towns where nearby to work the uh, different uh, specialized industry that we have for them. I decided to Go with the alternate schooling. We have the community school and the the different high school. I'm probably going to put a different college here too. Uh, is it the Institute of Technology? The purple lines not connected to anything. Doesn't complete a path so I just remove it. We're just gonna have a local purple line that doesn't go out of the city. But on the plus side people can use it to go from uh, somewhere local to another local area. It's not too bad. Yeah, I was saying earlier I like these time lapses of As is being built, seeing the progression of things, it's kind of nice and uh, refreshing, relaxing to see uh, these things just pop up. Of avenues here, so I, I lay the the water pipe on the avenues because it's, it's convenient. Uh, it's normally where uh, water pipes go in in real life, so it's also helps me remember where the water should go. Makes parks in a different levels. I don't know. It doesn't have enough uh, workers. It doesn't look too bad. It's the little town. I might name it after some subscribers. I used to uh, do... If you had a, a YouTube channel, I would name a a place after you, but I, I didn't really know who to pick as the person to comment if you like a place to uh, to be named in this city, in Ezidi City. We, we have a couple of districts named after people. I'll probably go over it when we do the, the large montage or the overview of this whole city. Can't believe we're at 75 episodes. We're at the three-fourth mark uh, for the hundredth episode. I wanted to end at episode 69, uh, but it's all right. Anyway, until next time, thank you guys for joining. If you like the content and you want to see more of it, hit the like button. You can also subscribe to see and uh, hit the notification bell. I see you in three days. I update every three days. This is John Ezidab signing out. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you're essential.